Hi, so thanks to all your support, we're now past the £50,000 stretch goal um, and we're not even halfway through the Kickstarter campaign. So it's amazing news. Um, it's going to be really exciting to see what we, what we manage next. Um, some of you were asking though um, what this stretch goal actually was. So it actually says um, down here, uh, it says the Raspberry Pi based Bluetooth hub was the, the thing that we're, um, we're going to do. And yeah, obviously um, it's not immediately obvious what that is. So I thought I'd give you a quick demo. Now this is all very early software. Um, so the finished thing will be a lot more polished, but hopefully it'll give you a good idea. So um, this, is, this is currently served off my computer, but it would be served off the Raspberry Pi. Um, this is the web IDE that a lot of you who've used Esprino before will be very used to. Um, this usually runs as a separate app um, just using the Chrome web browser, but um, in here it's running as a website, so you can access it from pretty much any device that can view web pages. Um, it behaves much like the normal IDE. In fact, it's even got the webcam, which um, is is pretty useful because I can give you a quick demo of another thing that um, that people were asking. So this is again like one of the prototypes that was used in the video. It's quite an early one, but um, if I show you here, the the button is actually here, right next to the um, to the coin cell. So if you turn it over, um, this is the top, and if you press it, then it rocks backs and forwards onto the button. Now normally, if, if you pressed it here, it wouldn't work, because it's just going straight down onto the button. But on the case, um, we've got a ledge, um, and this ledge is, is actually where the... Um, where the attachment hole is. But if I take this and put the aerial in so that it's on top of the ledge, then you can actually press it anywhere and you can you can get a really good button. And it makes a kind of a good clicking noise as well. So yeah, this is um this is what it, it looks like and works like. Um the case, as I mentioned in the last update, we're currently making um a proper silicon version of the case to a slightly new design um, that was, was recommended just to, to make sure it seals better and is a bit stronger. And if that turns out okay, which we're pretty sure it will, then we'll move on to making moulds um, even before the campaign finishes. So that's going to um, to put us a little bit ahead of, ahead of time on the hardware. So now if I, um, if I give you a quick idea how this works, if you click connect here you get a list of connected devices. Now, um, these are ones that are built into Linux, which um, you can basically ignore. I'll strip them out of the final software. But down the bottom, there's the puck, which is connected over Bluetooth. So if I click that, it takes a few seconds, and um, you've got a connection. And this is like a straight command prompt, straight onto the, um, onto the board. So I can ask it how hot it is, for instance. And it's got command completion and stuff like that. Um, so there you go, and um, if I ask it to turn an LED on and off, um, I can do that as well. And obviously just to show you the buttons working, if I look at the value from the button, nothing, press it, and then it's one. Um, and you can, you can upload code that you write in a much easier to develop way on the um, on the right hand side. So this has syntax highlighting, it will um, it will give you errors and um, and is generally much more helpful. You just click that button and it uploads it and what you wrote happens. Um, you can you can interact with it. So for instance I'm I'm fed up now with the fact that it keeps flashing. Uh, and it stopped with the light on but I can I can change that as well. So yeah all of this done completely wirelessly. Um, so you don't just have this, you have the, um, the graphical editor, which uh, also has various commands for accessing Bluetooth on. So, I mean, making it do something simple, like maybe act like a button, is kind of as easy as just pulling bits and bobs together, um, and then get rid of that. And now, when you press a button, it will um, create an output on it called digital and set it to true, uh, whenever you, you press it. So yeah, I mean this is um, you know really nice and easy to use, and 
I guess probably even if you can write JavaScript quite happily, you may end up using this just for prototyping simple things because you know it it, it doesn't even require you to look at a, at a reference for for which functions you should be using. You just look down the list, drag them on, and off you go. So um, yeah, that's everything. I mean, thanks for the support so far, and um, with 18 days left, I can't wait to see what happens. Thanks.